I caught my first wave when I was eight years old, but I've like my dad's been pushing me into them since probably like three or four. I liked all the parts of surfing. I liked paddling out. I liked getting hit by waves on the head. I just liked everything about it. And I remember I one time I got out of the ocean and like and I was surfing with my dad and his friends and I was like, oh, why do you always smile? Why do you keep smiling when you're surfing? Like, how, why does that happen? Because I thought it was like a part of surfing. You just had to smile the whole time. So yeah, I just like doing it. So once you catch a wave, it's a combination of being like freezing cold, being afraid for your life, exercising, and then like the technical parts. It's kind of like the way my dad says it's like a mix between wrestling and skateboarding so you wrestle and wrestle this big fat guy and then finally you kind of like conquer him and you get a skateboard down a really big hill so it's kind of like it's a good feeling that you actually were able to catch a wave like it's just a cool feeling and it's something you want to come back to again and again I would want it I would definitely want to teach somebody it kind of sucks when there's a bunch of like noobs out on the surf break but I would I think it's something that everybody should participate in the biggest part about teaching someone to surf is making sure they like it because if they don't like it they're not going to want to go back out there and it's definitely not a sport for everyone I like wifey now it's it's one of the better parts of surfing because <laughs> it's like I don't know you don't know which way's up anymore and you're just kind of like getting thrown around and it's kind of cool it adds to the thrill of the sport you need to like all aspects of surfing because you're going to be paddling a lot which hurts your shoulders you're going to be waiting which is super boring and then you're going to get wiped out which can be scary but you just need to embrace all those things for the future well I don't really plan to go pro or anything because I I don't know, it's just, but that's the one part about it, like, I still like it a lot. I want to get better at longboarding, like, I see some of those longboarders and that is really cool to me, but longboarding is boring in my opinion, but shortboarding, I want to, like, I want to do cool stuff like aerials or something, but that's, like, in the far future. Surfing has impacted my life in ways, like, I don't know, in, in elementary school, everyone knew me as, like, Sophie the surfer girl or whatever. That was, like, my image, and, yeah, that's all right, but um, I guess it's impacted my life, like, I, I'm closer to my dad because of surfing. I kind of, like, also, like, I have two brothers. They're younger, and they don't like surfing at all, so it's kind of, like, I'm not just the girly girl, like, the wimp in the family, because my brothers won't go surfing, and I will, so that kind of shows that my brothers aren't more capable, I guess.